All right, so this is Observing the Moon from Chapter 1, Observe and Wonder, out of your astronomy coach by me, John Celestia. Uh And we're going to see what you could see if you watch Moon over and over each month daily. Um, you could skip a few days too, but you'd notice certain patterns. It is kind of confusing, but there's some basics here that we can get to. One thing that you should realize is that Moon is not tied to a yearly calendar. So what happens on February 5th this year will be, the, you know, whatever the phase is on February 5th this year, it'll be different next year and it'll be different, was different five years ago and so I can't tell you without cheating with a phone app. Um, so it's not tied to a yearly calendar. There, there were lunar calendars and most of those get, find a way to adjust it to our sun cycle that we talked about before. Everyone on Earth sees the same phase on the same day. So today, everyone would see the phase that it is. It's approaching the first quarter today. Um, and that's not obvious. So we're cheating a little bit. And we're here observing in wonder. We're ancient shepherds. So we're looking at moon, seeing what we see. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is that different phases rise, are out or above our horizon, and set at different times. And uh, I'll talk about that briefly. You can take note of that. But just realize that sometimes the moon is out all day. Sometimes it's out all night. Sometimes it's out morning. And then, uh, or, uh, excuse me, afternoon and into the evening. Or later in the evening, after midnight, into the morning. So it varies. We, if you look at a calendar, any calendar, it'll often show the, the uh, moon phase cycle. If you count it out, it's about 28 days. 29 and a half, okay, fine, but this will work well to get you acquainted, and that's four weeks. So we'll think in terms of weeks, and that'll serve us well. You only need to sketch eight of those days. You don't have to do a sketch for every day, uh, but you can find those all over the internet if you uh, Google those images at nasa.gov or on any search engine. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to sketch these eight phases. One is, uh, we're going to draw eat sandwich, right? So we know eat sandwich. We're going to face south. That's a good way to look at the days of the week, sun, moon, and the five visible naked eye planets make the days of the week. And we know that for some reason, when we face south, we see them rise somewhere in the east and set somewhere in the west. And the way we're going to do this, for every single of these eight, every one of these eight phases, we're going to do uh, one of these pictures. Eat sandwich. Circle above south, so we know it's going to rise and set, but that's okay. We're going to put terminator dots. These are going to really help you avoid mistakes. And then we're going to draw the terminator and shade the dark side. It's like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger meets uh, Darth Vader or something like that. So we draw the terminator. How we do that? We're going to connect those dots. You have to connect those dots. It'll avoid a certain mistake. The terminator is the line on anything. It doesn't have to be moon. It could be earth or any planet or anything, the line that separates lit and the dark parts. So that's where the light ends, if you will, or the dark ends. It terminates, the terminator. Then we'll shade the dark side. So each phase will be shaded differently. And then we'll look at how much it's lit, and we'll name it. So let's begin. That's our little list. So I've got a template here. And uh, in this template, we're going to start this out. I've got the first two weeks, we're going to fill this in a little bit, and uh, then the last two weeks. So I'll draw them on top of each other, and we'll start this cycle out like this. So in order to learn this, you have to draw, oops, and you have to do it correctly. So you know it's going to rise, you know it's going to set, we're going to use those arrows later much more. We're going to put a circle above it. We're going to make our two dots here. And then what we want to do is draw this for all eight phases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pause the video. Do it yourself. Uh, don't just watch. Watching doesn't imprint the brain or program the brain as much. So pause. Fill that in. Draw one of these. Four across here and four across here. And that'll do it.
Okay, you're back. So you've made your template. Let me make my template and uh, check with yourself. I'm going to do it. Rise somewhere over here, set somewhere over here. Moon varies quite a bit. I need my dots. Okay, and we're just looking at it. So it's a few days later. And I go over here and eat sandwich here. Rise, set, need my dots. Make sure you do those dots. They'll really help you avoid a common mistake. Eat sandwich, rise, set, circle here, and dots. As I do this, you see those t numbers T0, T1, T2, T3. That's just my little way to help you see what's going on and, uh, and be able to draw this and name the phases that, again, you would observe if you watched day in, day out, or every couple of days would be adequate. So we have Terminator 0, Terminator 1, Terminator 2, and Terminator 3, and the cool thing is that it repeats. So we've got this, eat sandwich, and eat sandwich, facing east, and draw our dots. Okay, cool. So there we go. So let's see what we see. All right, we're going to talk about what, how much it's lit, and we're going to talk about the, uh, the phase name. So we can start the cycle anywhere we want on any phase. But what we're going to do is start the cycle like this. T0 means there is no terminator. None. Okay, and so on the first phase that we're going to start it, we'll shade it like this. And again, we're shading the dark side. Some people will shade that and think that's the lit side, but um, it is not lit. And so we call that a new moon. As it turns out, that rises and sets with sun, so it's hard to see because it's not lit, and it's hard to see because sun is sitting there. Okay, so we start our cycle. And then the next one we look at, and we see that uh, we've got T1. And so the way you do this is to make your terminator go to the right. It'd be nice if we started left to right, but it's right to left. And so you create a little wedge there. And now if you think about it, if it's not lit, it can't be mostly lit. It's got to only be a little bit lit. And in fact, you'll see that the west side is a bit lit. And so that's true. I'm going to shade the dark side, draw the terminator, shade the dark side, and we'll have to name this guy in a minute. And so you see that it gradually appears more and more lit. And now Terminator 2 is going to be straight down the center, or middle, straight down. And again, it's a gradual process. And so if you can look at the west, and I'll tell you why you can look at the east, but kind of easier there. It's half lit. And so I'll shade the dark side. I draw the terminator, shade the dark side. Notice how much it's lit. This is not called a half moon. We're going to name it in a moment. A lot of people call it half moon. It's not really the, the phase name that we use. And then finally, I go over here, and OK, it's gradually appearing more and more lit on the west side. And I'm keying in on the west here. And if that's true, then I'm going to draw a T3 heading off to the left, like this, something like that, right? Shade the dark side, which is still on the east. The west is lit. And we'll look at that um, in just a moment.
This is how much lit? Well, it's mostly lit, all right? And we need the name in just a moment. All right, so we've got that first couple of weeks. In fact, the, the second week is right here, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So while, during this first couple of weeks, we start out not lit, and then we grow a bit lit, half lit, mostly lit. So it's appearing more and more lit. And we'll talk about why in chapter 4, but it can appear more and more lit, even though you really know half of it is always lit. It's appearing more and more lit. So you can do that. Uh, and the word for that is waxing. And you can see from our picture that when it's waxing, the west is lit. Now, it might be that the crescent goes over like this, but it's heading westward. So the west is lit, and it's appearing more and more lit. All right? So let's go down here. And again, we use the same terminators. Here, there's no terminator but it's flipped here. So rather than not lit, it's all lit. Okay, and that phase name we call it the, obviously, full moon. So we start that cycle and it'll rise and set. In fact, this rises when sun sets around and sets when sun rises. So very different times of day. Um, all right. And then what do we do next? It's easy. Okay, we just draw the same terminator. So again, T1 is to the right, so I'm going to go like this. But wait a minute. If I key in on the west, and I look at it, this was all lit. So each day, it's going to appear less and less lit. In fact, it'll be dark on the west side. So it's flipped. Okay, now don't make a mistake on this one. If you look at it, you'll see that this is mostly lit, while the one above it is only a bit lit. So the name's going to be different. Okay, and so we'll name that in a moment. Let's keep going with that. Draw down the center, you get the drill. We look at the west side. Ah, the west side here is dark, right? West side is dark. West side is dark. And it's getting more and more dark. And so we draw that like this. And we'll name that in a moment. You see how much it's lit. It's half lit here on this side. And then we'll do it again. And we'll draw the terminator. Zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. Keep in mind this is a sequence, a progression. And so on the west side, which we key in on, it's appearing more and more dark. So that's dark change my color scheme here. This is only a bit lit now, and it'll repeat the cycle. So the cycle goes from not lit, a bit lit, half lit, mostly lit, and the way I've drawn it here, then you come back here, all lit. Not, a bit, half, mostly, all. Now gradually decreasing, mostly, down to half, down to a bit, and you're back to not, and that's the, the cycle. So, and that's how you draw it, and you can practice it that way and use these T0, T1, T2, T3. Same terminator, here the west is lit, here the west is dark. So, in this case, we say it is waning, and I sometimes like to put a long A over waning. If you want, you can capitalize the end to distinguish it from the waxing where it's more and more dark. 
So here the west is lit, and here the west is dark. Here it's waxing for two weeks. In fact, let's use that for, for a moment here. And we've got, it'll take about a week. From here to here, we're one week in, which is one quarter of a cycle. If it's four weeks, that's one quarter of a cycle. We go over here, this is two weeks, or half a cycle. And here, it's three weeks, and then we go back, all right? So that's where we're at. Now let's go ahead and name these, and you've got it. Uh, you can practice it as, you, as much as you like, but make sure you can do it, not from short-term memory, but you can just, you have this pattern, and try to look at pictures and so on. So what do we say? We say that this particular phase is new, we know that now it's waxing, so it's waxing. What's the lit part? Well, it's a bit lit, so it's a crescent. It's still waxing, but we don't call it a waxing half, as you might think. It's, that's wrong, right? This is the first quarter, one out of four weeks. And so we do not call it a half moon. It is a first quarter moon. One fourth of a four week cycle, you're one quarter in. You continue to wax, so we've got a waxing and mostly lit. If you look at the half lit moon, this one seems like it's got a little hump on it. And the Latin for humped is gibbous. And so that's where this name comes from. Uh, G-I-B-B-O-U-S, waxing gibbous. Okay. And then, of course, you've got full. And that's two weeks in, half the way through the cycle. So new moon to full moon is two weeks. Get, keep, remember that, not exactly, but very close. Um, and then we've got this. All right, what's it doing? Well, clearly it's waning. Maybe make that a capital N so we know it's not an X, but that's tricky, right? Waning. How much is lit? Ah, that's not a crescent. People often say waning crescent. The dark part's crescent, but we're talking, we're naming the phase after the, the lit part. And since it's mostly lit, it's humped. It's a gibbous, a waning gibbous. Okay, we go over here, and this is that special case, not a half moon. It appears half lit, but we're three weeks or three quarters into the cycle, so it is called a third quarter. Many calendars, even people, will call it the last quarter, and it really like that because... Well, it's the third quarter. It's three weeks into a four-week cycle about. Um, so third quarter is good. We continue to finish this off. What's it doing? Well, clearly, it's waning. How much is lit? Ah, how much is lit? It's just a bit lit, and we call that a crescent or a wedge or a banana or a, you know, whatever you, an orange slice or something like that. So that's how you draw the moon phases. And uh, I would repeat that, and you might take all eight of these and line them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can go T0, T1, T2, T3, T0, T1, T2, T3. Waxing for two weeks, appearing more and more lit, and waning for two weeks, appearing darker and darker on the west side. Waxing, west is lit. More lit, more lit. And again, that could turn over so it can look a little different. You can look at that, but you've got it until it's all lit. It can't get any more lit, so it's got to get less lit, and it's going to wane. If your interest is growing, that's cool, and your interest is waxing. If your interest, if you're getting tired, <laughs> then your interest is waning. And uh, that's the lunar cycle. You can draw that, and that prepares you. And I want to give you one word of caution. You'll notice that up here, never. Do I draw this 